Rex. He was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. <laughs> oh, sorry, Squeak. Wow, dinosaurs sound scary. I think they sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> extinct, Orbit. Extinct means they're no longer alive. Mm. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Mm. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? <gasps> yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a dinosaur exhibit, but we're not certain where to look. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, race planet. <laughs> I love racing. Racing is a lot of fun, TK. But I don't think we'd find dinosaurs on that planet. Oh, I love the theater. We could put on a play. That would be a great place if we wanted to dress up like a dinosaur. But I don't think we'll find any bones there, Emma. Oh, what about this planet? It looks like it might be a good place. You chose the museum planet. Museums carry all sorts of ancient bones and marvelous wonders. Excellent choice. OK, then. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Don't worry, 
absorb it, we can have fun putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. Something. Hmm. Greasy gears, you're right. Where's his other arm? Hey, there's something slimy here on the floor. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, yuck! There's wet, slimy stuff everywhere. Look! The trail leads in here. Hey, look! A feathered quill and parchment. That's what people used to write with before pens were invented. They dip the quill in that bottle of ink and write on the parchment. Parchment is like paper we use today, but really, really rough. Cool! There's more drooly slime over here. Hmm. And a helmet is missing. Huh? What could make such a mess? We're the only ones here. <laughs> hey, where'd my toy go? learn on your mission. <laughs> well, we learned that dinosaurs lived long before they were people, but have been extinct now for over 65 million years. But you can still see exhibits of dinosaur bones and fossils in museums, so that's where we went. We found an awesome display of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but there was a problem. 
He was missing the bone that formed his arm. We discovered our robot dog had taken the dinosaur bone and a bunch of other stuff, including my toy. Poor little guy, he just needed his own toy to play with. We finally put the missing bone back in its place and made a fun new friend. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. So buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, doggy. Goodbye, Museum Planet. Helping me look for Doug, the stuffed dinosaur I won at the fair. Maybe Doug got stuck in the train. left Doug on a planet by mistake. Don't worry, Rob. If we can't find your old toy, we'll win you a brand new one. Yeah! That's a great idea, Emma! Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? I lost my toy dinosaur from the fair, and we want to go win a new one. That sounds like a fantastic mission. Let's see where you can go. Yes! That looks amazing! Playground Planet is a lot of fun, but I don't think it'll help us win a stuffed toy. Museum Planet is great for finding out about real dinosaurs, but Rob wants a toy dinosaur. Oh, now that looks like a place where we can win a prize. Yes, the Fun Fair Planet. Terrific choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. to win it. Huh? How do we do that? By playing games. Each game costs one ticket. If you win, we can choose a prize. Ha <laughs> Aha! Perfect. We 
have enough money for four tickets. That means we have one, two, three, four chances to win. We'll win that toy dinosaur in no time, as long as we work together. Hey, where'd Emma go? Emma, wait! Shouldn't we come up with a plan together? Rob's right. After all, we only have four tickets. If you use one, we'll only have three left. Don't worry. This is a dancing game. There's no way I'll lose. All I have to do is follow the pattern as it lights up on the floor. Ready, set, go. What do you think? We think your dancing is amazing. But you got so carried away, you forgot to follow the rules. Oh no, you mean I lost? Don't worry, Emma. If we work together, we can still win a prize. Whoa, do you guys smell what I smell? Let's go check it out. for everyone! It says here that you can buy four candy apples for one ticket. Totally worth it! But now that you've used up your ticket, you can't play a game. Don't worry, I've got it covered. Don't forget your candy apple! Whoa! Whoa. Oops! <laughs> Yes, this is what they call a sticky situation. Whack a frog is my favorite game. How do you play? When the frogs pop up, you have to knock them back down with the mallet. But you can't miss even one, or you lose. That sounds pretty hard, TK. And we only have two more tickets, which is only two more chances to win the dinosaur. No problem. I'm great at this game. Ready? Hey, the mallet's missing. Oh no, you can't play without a mallet. Set. What are you gonna do? I'm sure I've got something that will do the trick. A hammer! Perfect. <laughs> Phew! Go! Woohoo! Way to go, TK! Almost! Got it! Like I've got the last ticket and the last chance to win the toy dinosaur. I guess it's up to you, Rob. Uh. All you have to do is ring the bell and you'll win the game. I can't look. What if we don't win the prize? Come on, Rob. It's all up to you. Ooh. All up to me? You can do it! Come on, Rob! Yay, Rob! <laughs> this hammer is heavy!
No, we won. And all we had to do was work together. I'd say that's a big mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the fun fair planet so we could win a new toy dinosaur. But things didn't go exactly as planned. First, Emma got so excited, she forgot to follow the rules. Then Orbit spent all his tickets on candy apples for everyone. And when TK tried to win a prize playing whack a -Brock, she got a little... Mm, stuck. Then it was my turn to try, but the hammer was too heavy for just one person. Things worked out when we all worked together to win the prize. That's a wonderful lesson, Rob. Well done. I'd say it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Fun Fair Planet. one of the largest dinosaurs. Brachiosaurus is awesome, but this one is my favorite, Tyrannosaurus rex. He was a fierce meat-eating dinosaur. Huh. <laughs> 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 Ooh, fierce dino. Run! <laughs> Don't worry, this T-Rex won't bite, <laughs> but a real one might. <gasps> well, you know, Dinosaurs disappeared a long, long time ago, but there's still one that's around today. <gasps> there is? Uh... Yep, it's the Robotosaurus. Cool! A Robo Dinosaur! We should try to find it. Then you can meet a real dino, Rob. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can find a Robotosaurus dinosaur. That sounds like a dynamite idea. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The pet planet? That's a good place to find a tiny lizard, but not a giant dinosaur. <laughs> the castle planet? I don't think we'll find a dinosaur there. A dragon, maybe. Yes, the dinosaur planet. That's the perfect place. Yeah! <laughs> yes, the dinosaur planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Dinosaur Planet. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 yeah! Okay, where do we start looking? 
looking? Well, let's start with what we know. Huh? Hmm. It says here the Robotosaurus is a herbivore. A herbal what? A herbivore. It means he's a plant eater. Phew, that's good. I'm glad the Robotosaurus isn't a robotivore. Or a robot eater. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. These plants with the heart-shaped leaves are the Robotosaurus's favorite meal. I have an idea. If we look for those plants, maybe we'll find the Robotosaurus. Good thinking, Rob. All right, let's go! <laughs> Wait a minute. We should all stick together. Woohoo! We'll find that dinosaur. to meet him. Look, come here, Rob. Hmm? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Dino! Hmm? I think these are the plants we're looking for. Only... Some of them have mighty big bites out of them. Are we sure the Robotosaurus is a herbivore? What if your book is wrong? Or what if it's a different kind of Robotosaurus? Or... Oh, Orbit, you're being a silly Saurus. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. Yep, just as soon as we find our dino. <gasps> oh, did you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from over there. Come on. No, Rob, I think it's coming from over there. Nuh-uh, we want to go this way. TK, what do you think? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Did you say something? Look at these plants! They're amazing! This way, Rob! I'm sure of it! No way! I'm sure I heard the dino over here! <gasps> Woohoo! Dino, here I come! Sorry, I was just so excited. How are we gonna get out of here? Hmm. Huh? Ah, it's going to eat us! I told you, Orbit. Robotosauruses eat plants, not robots. <gasps> uh, maybe we should find a way out of this pit. Don't worry, guys. I'll power up my rocket boots and get us out of here. Probably from the fall. I just need a closer look to fix them. Oh, oh no. I forgot my magnifying glass by the plants. Ah! Ah! Me. There has to be a way out. Oh, what about your ladder, TK? Uh, I left my ladder behind, too. This is all my fault. If only I'd listened to you guys. It's going to get us! It's gonna eat us! It's... It's... Huh? It's teeny tiny! Wow, he's so itty bitty! With cute little horns and eyes and... Whoa, that dino breath. Hi, I'm Rob. And you must be... Robotosaurus? Uh, why don't we just call you Roboto for short? Do you like that? <laughs> See, Orbit? He's not going to eat us. He's friendly. Huh? Maybe he can help us get out of here. 
How? He's so small. What can he do? Orbit, I think you hurt his feelings. Roboto, come back! Oh, I didn't even get to meet him up close. Uh, Rob? You know how you promised you'd start listening to us? Yeah. No! Robotosaurus! Wow, he's a lot stronger than he looks. I'll say. And now we're rescued. <laughs> Thanks, Roboto. Yeah, thanks, Roboto. You're awesome. More than awesome. You're the most amazing dinosaur I've ever met. <laughs> and that means this is one big, uh, little mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the dinosaur planet to find the Robotosaurus. Only, I didn't listen to my friends and accidentally led them right into a big pit. It seemed like there was no way out until the Robotosaurus came to our rescue. Now I'm the luckiest robot alive. I learned how important it is to listen to my friends and I got to meet a real Robotosaurus. Cool. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>